Chef AJ here, and I am your host for tonight's Dessert Buddies. Buddies, I don't know what that means. Party. I, this is my fourth live stream, so please excuse my uh, <laughs> not being completely there. So thank you so much for joining in. If you are experiencing the Holistic Holiday at Home cruise, welcome. And if you're watching and not a member yet, there's still time to join. There's a level that's absolutely free where you can get my pecan pie recipe and watch the pecan pie demo. You don't have to pay anything, but you do have to register for the free level. But tonight we are going to do a dessert party. If you ever had the privilege of going on the actual holistic holiday at Sea Cruise, you know that every night there was a special theme party. Maybe one night it would be sushi, one night it would be pizza, and one night it would be dessert. So being a former executive pastry chef, a former executive vegan pastry chef, they asked me to host the dessert party. So I need to leave this room and go into the kitchen, and I'm going to turn it over to my co-host, Justin, to tell you a little bit about what's going on as I switch rooms. Thank you, AJ. This is Justin here, the uh, producer of this online event, and this will be an interesting way to do it. Um, can you guys, can everyone hear me? Can you, can, can you chat in and let me know if you can hear me okay? Okay. okay it looks like it's working, as far as I can tell. Um, this takes a little bit more coordination than we've had to do on some of the other sessions because of uh, doing, you know, having multiple um, things going on at the same time. That looks like it's working pretty well so far. Hey, AJ, how are you doing? Just getting my headset on. Yeah, you, we can hear you. We can hear you for a minute. Now, now yes, you can. Yes, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Just back in. There we go. All right. Sorry, I, <laughs> sorry about that, Justin. I couldn't hear you for a moment. So are we ready now? to rock it? Are we ready to rock and roll? Yeah, we are. Okay, so they asked me to make ice cream. It's like, you know, when I did the demo in, in, in covering for Chef Dell, I made like seven recipes. I went a little bit crazy, so I'm hoping to do a few more recipes. So as I said, I was an executive pastry chef at Sante Restaurant, and I used the fruit, the whole fruit, and nothing but the whole fruit. I'm actually writing a book based on all these recipes. So I'd like to make a few things to show you that you don't have to ditch dessert as long as you make it healthfully. So what I love about holistic holidays, the Sandy has known for years the, the, that, that sugar is, is the white death. It's not good for you, but we have fruit at our disposal and it's amazing what you can do with it. So the first thing I wanna do is make some really healthy popsicles. And you can make these in so many different ways and flavors. I'm gonna just do it really, really simple because that's how I roll, but you will need, well, you, you don't actually don't even need this, but it's kind of cool if you have this. And uh, you can get this on Amazon. And actually, I do have a YouTube video if you really want to try some really cool flavors. But this is a very cool little thing. And it makes popsicles. And it's very hot where I live in the desert. It's supposed to be 120 this, this week. So these are going to be a perfect treat. Start with a blender. I happen to have a Vitamix. But I'm sure if you didn't have a Vitamix, this would work as well. And then start with your favorite fruit. It can be frozen fruit, it can be fresh fruit, but you might want sweet fruit because it will only be as sweet as your fruit. And I had a bag of mango in the freezer and I just defrosted it and I'm just gonna put it in the blender. Now, things like mangoes and bananas are so sweet that you really don't have to add anything. But you could add other flavors of fruits. You could add, sometimes I like to add these wonderful California balsamic vinegars, which I'm gonna talk about, which come in many flavors, cinnamon, vanilla, mint, uh, my friend Shada likes to, believe it or not, add chili powder and lime, whatever you like. So it's really just fruit, but I'm going to just put in a little bit of non-dairy milk and not much, just because I want it to blend really smoothly. And I'm going to blend. And literally, that is all you do. And then you put it in. Now, now, Charles, I might need you to lower this a little bit so they can see what I'm doing. You're going to just, I like to use a funnel because it's easier. And you just pour it into this wonderful little mold. If you didn't have the mold, what you could do is you could use Dixie cups with a stick. But this isn't that expensive on Amazon. And again, the only reason for the liquid is just to make it blend a little bit easier and a little bit smoother. You could probably use water. You could use unsweetened fruit juice. But as I said, mango is so incredibly sweet. I don't think it needs 
any more sweetening. Now it's kind of fun to get the kids involved. You could like put a little raspberry or cut grapes in half if you want it real pretty. For me, you know, I spent so many of my years as a culinary instructor teaching the blind that I really concentrated more on how things tasted than how they looked. But I understand people like things pretty. So you could stripe these. You could do a row of raspberry, however you want to do. But for me, I like things that are simple. And just doing one flavor in the mold is simple. So that, that was about a pound of mango or a frozen mango because that's all I had. And then very, very easy to do. You just take this thing. And you put it on, let's see, which is my first time using it. I'm guessing it goes this way. Probably doesn't matter. It actually comes with sticks. And uh, if you run out, you can order more. And it comes with these cute little plastic bags that you can individually wrap them. And then you just stick the stick in the hole. Hmm. There we go. And you pop it in the freezer. And then you have a healthy, delicious, refreshing popsicle. And you can use any fruit. These are great with watermelon and mint. I've even made watermelon mint cucumber. You can, I've made these with Japanese sweet potatoes, if you can believe that. So there you, oh, why am I, I should only put it in the holes that actually have the, uh, <laughs> the mango in it. So there we go. So this made six, which is great. And it's really just the fruit, the whole fruit and nothing but the whole fruit. So all I have to do is pop this in the freezer and tomorrow or in a few hours from now, I'll have Popsicle. Now, was that easy? I wish I had one of those buttons from Staples to show you how easy that was. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make a snow cone. When I was little, I loved snow cones. Oh, can you plug that in for me, please? And this is a snow cone machine that my good friend Heather Goodman gave me. And all this stuff you can get on Amazon. You can check my store. Gosh, I haven't, I haven't used this in a while. Where's the button to turn it on? <laughs> oh, I should have probably prepared. I, okay, I'll figure it out. All right, so let me get some ice. Excuse me, Bailey. And... buy ice already shaved. So ice in here. Put this on. Now, there it goes. Oh, I'm having trouble getting it to stop. Can you turn it for me without breaking it? Oh, can you help me? Can you get a turn? Uh-oh. There we go. Okay. I think I put a little too much ice in. There we go. So let me, this, this clogged it. You're not, you can't have pieces like this. I don't know if you guys are as old as me, but if you remember the Snoopy snow cone machine, from when I was little. I think they still sell them. There we go. Just a little more ice. I want to get enough to make one snow cone. Someone's asking again, like, where... Um who the manufacturer is of the ice maker? You know, I don't know, but if they go to my Amazon store, if they go to amazon.com slash shop slash chef AJ, everything I ever use, I always put in that store so people can see the brands. But I'll see, I'll see if I can. Oops. kids love these and they come with these cute little cups but you can always get extra cups um charles do you see a label on uh, this is nostalgia that's the maker so you have this really nice shaved ice that's like snow and i suppose you could do it in a blender but i don't think it comes out quite as fine and you know i follow not only a plant exclusive diet i've been vegan for 43 years but i follow 
a very low fat one. So I don't do so well with the rich desserts like the pecan pie that have a lot of nuts. And so I love the ones that I'm making tonight because they have no added fat. So there you have it. So now what do we put to make it flavorful? Well, you could put some unsweetened fruit juice on it, that's for sure, or some nectar. But what I like to use are these vinegars that are from California balsamic. Now, you don't want to use the Gilroy garlic and the sweet heat and the liquid smoke. You want to use the fruity flavors. So I have a choice of cherry, strawberry, pear, coconut, blackberry, raspberry. I've got uh, pineapple. So I don't know. I, would you like one, Charles? And what flavor would you like? You probably like cherry, I'm guessing. I mean, I'm putting words in his mouth, but I think he likes cherry. So we'll make him a cherry snow cone. And again, is and by the way, there's no added sugar. These are made just from the fruit. There is, if you look at the nutritionals, it's sugar, but it comes from the grapes. But this is reduced. And so you can just put it on like this, and then you can add as much or as little. If he wanted to put two flavors on, he could. But uh, these are really, really delicious. So there you have it, a snow cone. Okay, now, number three. Oops, got a little doggy here. So I think the best dessert is fruit, uh, especially this time of year, watermelon, cherries, and of course, berries. And berries are delicious, Blue, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. And this would be a yummy dessert. But how can you make a yummy dessert even yummier? Again, with California balsamic or any company that you like. So what I like to do is I like to make macerated berries. And people think that macerated berries have to have sugar. But macerate just literally means to, to, to soften or to make like more liquidy. And so you can macerate fruit with any liquid. You could use water even, not that that would be very flavorful. You could use orange juice, lemon juice, lime juice. Uh, yes, of course, people do use sugar to make macerated berries. But what I do is literally, this is one cup of berries. And all I add is literally one tablespoon of California balsamic. Now, I didn't do this uh, a, a long time ago. I did it just a couple hours ago. I don't know if you can see that that one tablespoon has caused it, the berries to soften and just to become just, just delicious and just to give up their liquid. You can kind of see the difference in the way they look. And so these are good on their own as a dessert. You can put some fresh mint on it, but we're going to use this as a topping. So to, to make it as very simple, for this one, I use the strawberry. I think for this one, I uh, can't decide between pear and coconut. Uh, I'll, I'll use pear. And the longer you let them, uh, you know, marinate overnight is even better, but you're going to need a few hours. So I added one tablespoon of the pear. And then you just put these back in the fridge. And every now and then when you open the fridge, just give them a stir and then they'll get just really, really yummy. So what are we going to use these as a topping for? Well, how about ice cream? Okay, so I love these cute little things because it just makes the ice cream social even more fun. I have these in all different colors. And so the machine I'm using here is a champion juicer. No, you don't have to have champion juicer. However, my motto has always been get the biggest and best you can afford. And if it is within your budget, the ice cream made by the champion is unparalleled. Yes, you can do it in a Yonanas. You can do it in a Vitamix. You can do it in a Blendtec. You can do it in a dessert bullet. You can do it in an engine. You can do it in a food processor. But this makes the best, in my opinion. I've had one since I'm 27. Not this one because people always take mine, like family members. So you can even make nut butters with this. You can mill flour. So my husband likes the banana the best. He also likes cherry, but we're out of cherry. So I'm going to just show you how easy this is. So I always have frozen bananas. Do you want cherry or grape? Because I can show them grape. Cherry. I mean, um, banana or grape. Okay, so actually my favorite is grape. Believe it or not, grape makes the best sorbet. And I can show you that if you like in just a second. So always have bananas ready. Make sure you peel them before you freeze them or you'll never get the peel off. And make sure they're nice and ripe with as many brown spots as possible before you freeze them or they won't be sweet. Now the first banana is kind of a waste. In other words, it's gonna get caught in the gear so it doesn't even count. But when you think about it, you'll see how much this makes with just one banana. You could actually have ice cream for breakfast. So I turn the machine on, I put the banana in, I push down the thing. And like I said, that first banana sort of gets caught in all the gears. But then, well you can see it's starting to come out. 
it's really got the texture of like Dairy Queen, soft serve ice cream. It's so creamy. It's so delicious. You can do this with any fruit you like. Charles, would you like any berries on yours or you want to have it plain? Okay. So, and do you want the berries to be macerated or just unmacerated? Regular pea, peas, once regular. Okay. So, there we have it. That's the equivalent of one banana. So, let's get him some berries. Or, luckily, I have more berries that have not been macerated yet. So, I'm just going to put them on top for him. And when I have company, which who's had company this year, <laughs> but when I have, we used to play pickleball with my friends Ronnie and Lisa and Pam, and they'd come over afterwards for this, and they couldn't believe how good it was. And I would set up a Sunday bar, and I would put these toppings out. I, I'm going to show you some other things I use for toppings, but the texture is unparalleled in this. And I'll tell you, even kids eat this and love it and uh, – you can actually even drizzle the California balsamic on as, as like a Sunday topping. So this is pretty amazing. And this is, this is just basically fruit. Okay. But now let me just show you another way to do it to make it even more decadent. You know, my motto, anything worth doing is overdoing. So let me show you how I'm going to make my Sunday. It's a little bit different. Hey, Jason, someone I just asked, um, is that challenging to clean? No, if you like, if there's time, when I'm making the last serving, I'm happy to show you how to clean it. I just, I've got to keep it uh, intact right now, but it isn't. It really, really isn't. Uh, okay, let me just uh, put this back and then show you something really amazing. Okay. So there is a fruit that is one of the most delicious fruits in the world. And that fruit is called jackfruit and you can get frozen jackfruit at both trade uh not trader Joe's, whole foods and sprouts for sure now uh, jackfruit that people use to make things like uh chicken curries that's there's a difference between ripe and unripe so this is the jackfruit that you see in the stores often in asian markets that's the bright yellow and this is very very sweet and it tastes like juicy fruit gum the other jackfruit, which I can show you, it's a little the different. The green one, right? The other one's a green yeah, one, that's, greener one? Yeah, that's the one that comes in cans. And while that, oh, cans or boxes, and while that is very good, you don't want this one for dessert. But yeah. this is I didn't one realize of those though, I didn't even realize it got ripe. Yeah, oh my God. When, it, when it's ripe, it's bigger than a watermelon. It has these seeds. It really is the most delicious fruit. You can, by the way, you can, you can eat this now if you like for all your hard work. All right, so this is how I roll. So, you know, you've got the, we've got the macerated berries, which I already showed you. And what I like to do is instead of putting my ice cream in a dish, I put it on a Japanese sweet potato. This is the most incredible sundae. And for those of you that do chocolate, California balsamic has a chocolate orange that is to die for. So same principle, different fruit. And there'll be a little bit of banana taste in it, but that's okay. So I'm going to put this on. Oh, boy. I mean, this is, my grandmother used to have a word for food like this. She'd say, this is a taste thrill. And you can air fry the potato first if you like. There's nothing like it. Then it's all crunchy like a marshmallow. But putting this on a potato is unbelievable. So you don't have to have deprivation just because you're on a plant-exclusive diet and because you don't eat sugar. All right. Whoops. There we go. I was a sugar addict for 43 years, and now fruit is like almost too sweet for me. So there we have my Sunday, and I am going to put berries on mine, the macerated berries. And you can see how I really do. That liquid that you're seeing, there was only a tablespoon of California balsamic the liquid they're giving up. Oh, my God. Ugh. Do I really have to finish this show? Because I am so ready to eat this. I actually haven't had dinner. Guess what? This is going to be my dinner. But there you have it. A delicious, whoops, Japanese sweet potato banana jackfruit sundae. So right, we eat great. really good at this house. And uh, I'm happy to answer any questions. And if you like, uh, I do. would you like any more ice cream? Then I, I can show you how easy it is to clean as long as I don't have to 
uh, make any more. But I do want to show you what, where's the berries. Uh, hmm. You gotta try it in grape. They're, grape, believe it or not, is my very favorite flavor. So uh, it has to be the purple grape. So try that if you can. And then let me show you one other thing. So one of the things I like to do is, uh, sorry, when I make the banana ice cream, I like to make oatmeal cookies out of just oats and bananas. The recipe is in my book and on YouTube. And so I make the banana ice cream. And then what I do, is I put it between two oatmeal cookies and then I roll it in coconut and then I always have ice cream sandwiches ready. So that's another great thing you can do with just the fruit. Very, very delicious. Okay. So I just want to, I want to stick this in the, in the freezer so that I can enjoy it when the show's over. Um, okay. Sorry about that. Okay. There we go. So now, the question was, is it easy to clean? The snow cone machine is easy to clean because there's nothing to clean. It was just water. You basically let it dry up. So what you do, you always want to make sure you unplug it first just because you don't want to accidentally have it go on. And so let me just show you how easy this is to clean. So you take off this piece, but you don't want to lose this. So you want to eat that one. Mm. Oh, my God. It's good. Sorry, twist to the side, pull it off. Robin's asking about other fruits. You've already shown bananas, jackfruits, and you're, you were going to show grapes, right? Mm -hmm. um, can, any you make, any mm -hmm. can you make grape and ice cream in a, um, in a Vitamix, or do you need one of these? No, you can do it in a Vitamix, but realize with a Vitamix, you generally need a little bit of liquid, so it will still be good. It just won't be this thick. Mm -hmm. OK. Wow. Sorry for eating, but it's dinner time. All right. And then the only other thing you do is you get a knife and that's it. And so what you want to do is you just want to wash these and, and that was easy, I think. Yep. So any other, look at, I mean, look how many recipes I did in a short time. See, I don't like to waste. So I, I eat what's in there, you know? Looks like we have Any someone questions? zoom. Looks like we have someone zoom bombing in. I sent out the link to join the meeting to a bunch of the speakers at the event. So who's that? It's somebody with a baby. Okay. It's Gabriel Miller. Hey, Chef AJ. Hey, how are you? I'm eating ice cream. Nice cream. Made out of jackfruit. I love that. That's plant-based Gabriel, everybody. And baby Bridget here. Adorable. Awesome. My baby's asleep. Baby Joya is in the bed with mom, with Mama Jill. <laughs> so that's it. Happy to answer any questions on dessert or why sugar. So Justin, I know that your dad was macro or your parents were macrobiotic. So you were somewhat raised that way. Were they, um, did they know about the, all the deleterious effects of sugar with, when you were growing up? I never had any sugar till I was eight years old. The first time I what had was it, it was bubble gum and I, I vomited. So, so what was it like not having sugar and then having it? Was it a great experience? Like, wow, or how did it feel? Well, the first sugar I had was not very, very good. You know, it was one of those like old kind of pink bubble gum, you know, the bubble issues or whatever it was in the bubble gum wrapper. And it was really not, not very good. I did develop a sweet tooth. And, and when I had my own money, I'd buy candy when I was a kid after I started trying it out. But there was a period of time when I had no dairy, no, no sugar at all um, until I was eight years old. Wow. That's, I wonder if those first eight years set the stage for, cause you don't have a truly voracious sweet tooth like some people, right? Uh, I ate a lot of, a lot of chocolate still, even though <laughs> I know it's not great for me, but I still ate a lot of chocolate. Hey, if it doesn't it's make vegan, you break but, out, yeah, yeah if it doesn't vegan. make you don't seem to be breaking out from it. So no, yeah, I never have no. Uh, Chef Chef AJ, would you uh, would you say that eating ice cream once or twice a day would be a voracious uh, a voracious uh, sweet tooth? I don't think so. Not if it's just as plain. I I mean, it's fruit. It's just it's just configured differently. 
You know, I think if you're if that's all you're eating and you're not eating any vegetables or any starch, maybe it's but you know, then again, look at people like Robbie who only eat fruit. I don't see a problem with ice cream other than you got a the biggest problem, Gabriel, is this machine is so heavy that I can't lift it. And then so if I'm gonna have it, somebody I think my husband has to lift it. That's that's uh that makes sense. And you can also make some <laughs> some starch based ice cream. We do a sweet potato and ice cream. Yes, with, with I do with the Japanese sweet potato because yep. I, I, I made popsicles at the beginning and sometimes I blend those in. Those are delicious. I, I, are you raising your baby free of refined sugar right now? Yeah, we are. I mean, she's she is oh, going to be seven months on Friday. And so she's still just exclusively breastfed, but she will be. Um, mom is eating refined sugar, all starch based, uh, you know, whole food plant based. But she uh, so she's getting a second hand at the moment. Uh, she's getting it's like instead of, of secondhand smoke, she's getting secondhand <laughs> sugar. She's getting secondhand ice cream this summer for sure. With with the the heat, we uh, we we eat a lot of uh, of healthy desserts here. But you're right, we we eat our our starches and our vegetables, uh, and then we then we have our ice cream. Nice, adorable. Nice. Gabriel, my my daughter's only uh, a week younger than yours. She turns okay. seven months in two weeks from tomorrow. Awesome. <laughs> It's uh, it's been it's been fun. It's been uh, 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 quite the learning process, but we're we're definitely enjoying it. And uh, Br Bridget and I went out to the down to the river today. We've got a nice uh, kind of walking area out there, and we had a picnic, and so we're en enjoying it for sure. Yeah. I, you may be tuned in late, Gabriel. I showed how to make snow cones. Did you? I did. I yeah. did not. I did. I'll have to go back and watch the. Yeah, because I just use in, instead of instead of the sickly sweet syrup i just use one of the fruity flavors of california balsamic and Love it's it. delicious yeah with awesome. my little ice cube I, I, justin are you raising your daughter uh, without sugar for now yeah definitely for now um <clears throat> we actually just started trying um a process called baby led weaning which is where she'll she gets to try whole foods um she's tried whole avocado whole uh broccoli cooked peppers she's not really eating she's just like experimenting with food and um she's still fully breastfed and but she's getting she's eating strawberries so there's some there's some plant, some plant sugars there um and mango and things like that but we're also trying to focus on the vegetables and my wife is really kind of leading that and i'm going to read the book when i'm done with this event and get up get caught up on what we're doing with, with that you know it's interesting i have met a few kids that were raised truly sugar-free and, and they just don't crave it. You know, like Dr. Goldhammer, it doesn't mean like his son, who's like in his 30s, he just never had it. He never had cake and ice cream. So he doesn't miss it because he never had it. Yeah, I, I didn't miss it at first. But then when I got into it, it you know, it's so addicting. I definitely, um, you know, got get used to it after a while. One of the things I forgot to show is when I do the Sunday bar for when I make the ice cream, since I don't do nuts, I don't mind if other people put nuts as a topping. But if I want something crunchy, I'll do something like this. And this that way I can have like a crunchy topping as well on my Sunday and uh, get these at Costco. And, and these are really, really crunchy. So it's different than, than dried fruit, which is very chewy, which is actually also very good on this as well. Yeah. And one thing, Chef AJ, I'm sure you covered it, but, and Justin kind of hit it, was with, with nice cream, when we first went plant-based, right, I came from the, I'm eating a ton of, you know, non-plant-based ice cream and the fat and sugary filled stuff. Um, but then I started trying nice cream, which was just amazing. Uh, but then shortly after I got into some of the vegan or the oil, like the oil-based stuff, and then for some reason, the nice cream stopped tasting so good. It started to just taste like blended fruit. Uh, but then I realized, oh, you know, I probably shouldn't be eating these these oil based or these super high fat uh, vegan, you know, processed uh, ice creams. And when I stopped doing that, it's amazing. The nice cream started tasting like something better than any other ice cream that I could have ever imagined. And uh, that's continued to be the case for years now. You're talking about something that Dr. Goldhammer talks about a lot, the process of neuroadaptation. And that's why even though it's going to be fun eating all this tonight, honestly, I would rather just have watermelon. Like when, when watermelon is in season and ripe, I would rather eat it over all the stuff that I made. And cherries too, of course. But yeah, it's fun to be able to make. Yeah, and what's nice about desserts is that people don't eat dessert because it has animal products. 
people eat animal products because they're animal products, but people don't go to like, I worked at a non-vegan restaurant as a pastry chef and I didn't even really have to tell anybody I was vegan because I got the job based on when you go to the restaurant job, you do a day for free. You work there for a day for free. You show them what you can do and they either hire you or you don't. (laughs) It was a long time before they even realized I wasn't using eggs or any of that stuff because I got the job based on my desserts. And so people, when they're eating desserts, they don't like, oh my God, where's the egg? Where's, you know, where's, I don't know what, what else is in there. Where's the cream? If it, and so desserts are, are, I think, a really great way to bring people into a plant-based diet. And it's not confrontational because most people love desserts. And then when you find, they find out, hey, this doesn't have any cholesterol. It, it, you know, Dr. Barnard told me, bring them in with dessert, then hit them over the head with the kale. Mm-hmm. I, see, I think Robert Cheek joined us. Hey, you spotted me, huh? Yeah, I feel like we're CNN correspondents. And now from, uh, I forget where you live now, we've got Robert Cheek in the house. Tuning in from Northern Colorado saying hello to plant-based Gabriel and Chef AJ, two of the absolute rock stars of Holistic Holiday at Home. I know because I've been reading the feedback, I've been in the Facebook group, I've been listening to people, and they love both of you and Bridget, who's tuned in as well. I, I hear a lot of your names floating around, so thank you for your presence in this incredible online event. What a, what a great one it is. And if you guys miss the fact that there's no seasickness, you can just kind of just go like this at home. Now, I don't ever think that, that was one thing I noticed on that ship. My very first time on a cruise ship, I got very seasick on my honeymoon, but that ship, you don't, you never felt it, you know? I mean, it, really, that was really neat. That I never felt seasick and I'm prone to it. I never felt it on the that beautiful MSC Divina. My favorite part of the ship, I believe it was either between floor five and six or six and seven. They have this staircase that it, it's like the staircase that you would expect all the old time Hollywood stars, like, I don't know, like, uh, you know, Vivian Lee, somebody to walk down. It's like this lit, beautiful, almost see-through stair. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. yeah. That's my favorite part of the ship, that staircase. The only problem is those stairs aren't really functional because everyone is taking photos there. You can't you can't even walk down at any time of day or night. People are having photos taken on those beautiful staircases. So that is part of the problem. Yeah, but I do. That's my that was my favorite part. Yep. And thanks to you, Robert. I met Robert uh, before we aborted the very first time. And he said, don't take the elevator. And that uh, every cruise I've been on, with the exception of obviously when you have suitcases, it's kind of hard to walk down 13 flights. I never once took the elevator on any cruise except for the day that we disembarked because, you know, with suitcases, it would be tough. And, and that, that was really helpful. You know, and I think about that all the time in life. Like when I'm in an office building or going, going to a doctor, I'm like, you know, Robert, Robert wouldn't take the elevator. Yep, that's one of my goals when I'm on board the ship is to never see the inside of an elevator, to take the stairs, whether I'm going from deck four all the way up to deck 19, back down to deck 10, then over to deck five, and then back up to deck 14 for a party. Uh, I just take the stairs and that becomes my really my best workout of the cruise. Even though I host my own workouts, I go to the gym and use the gym on board, but it's the everyday little things, which is something that Gabriel talked about today. And people loved his presentation because it was so practical. The advice Gabriel gave, I even had friends texting me and they said, wow, you're right. That plant-based Gabriel guy gave so much practical advice. And that's, you know, that's what I try to do as well. So that's one way to get exercise in and also, you know, you're working your legs and your glutes and your calves and your core and your uh, aerobic system, your lungs, your heart. Like, it is just a great way to approach um, fitness. Uh, and you can do it anywhere, you know, anywhere you can find stairs or a hill or any, anywhere where you can go the extra mile. Justin. I took... Oh, go ahead, Gabriel. Yeah. No, it just it just sounds like we need to we need to have Robert do another interview of himself talking about... Uh, reaching your peak uh, vegan fitness by taking the stairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, stairway to, I don't know, stairway to something. Stairway, stairway to, to biceps. <laughs> stairway to biceps. Calf muscles. They, the calf. They, had, they had a class on the cruise that was one of the funnest things I've ever taken. I don't know if they still offer it, but it was underwater spinning. And I'm a spinner anyway. I actually own a spin bike, but you've got to do it, you know, in the Caribbean, immersed underwater and it's one of the best workouts because in water you don't feel it and yet you're working really really hard you've got the sun on you that was a really fun thing wow 
Yep. I went in, in a submarine in Aruba, I think a year ago or two years ago. That was, that was pretty cool. I'd never been in a submarine before. So that was kind of a, a neat experience. And yep. there's so many wonderful opportunities on the cruise. We've been talking about it in the Facebook group, all the different things we get to do. And we are in person and sharing that, sharing those experiences together and the travels and the excursions and the zip lining through the, the rainforest and all the exotic birds and fruits and animals and the wonderful people and all the different places we go and the community that we build, which is uh, something we're actually replicating here. I mean, Chef AJ, you, you know that I see this in the comments uh, in your videos, whether it's on Facebook or on Zoom or on YouTube, uh, there is a real community that's being built. And I think that's something that, that really bonds us all together. Um, not just a love of plant-based food, but a, a love of, of supporting one another and lifting each other up. And Bridget Kosser does that so incredibly well in the Facebook group. You foster and nourish that culture and community in your social media platforms. Uh, <laughs> Gabriel was part of that as well. <laughs> There's Bridget Kosser. <laughs> it's like it's like you you said her name and she appeared. Yeah, it's it, it's it's just a special skill that I have. It's, it's yeah, when you do well, ten cruises in a row, you just get that. I'd like to talk to Dr. McDougal. Can you say his name and see if he appears? Yeah, it, it's <laughs> Dr. McDougal. <laughs> that is so funny. Hey, you know what, Justin? I just had a neat idea. Even when the cruise sails again, wouldn't it be great if you could have this during the cruise for people like that really couldn't come? I've been thinking about that. You know, it's possible. Because um, I could be your man on the street because I let Robert do the in-person hosting. I can be the person here hosting it like on, on land, you know? Actually, that's an interesting idea on well, hybrid like that. I'm going to what I'm going to I'd like to try to do is get on a once it's, once it's safe to cruise, go on the cruise ship test out if if, if, the, if you have the best wi-fi package on the cruise if you can run zoom because if you I can that, uh, you can we could do interviews with people we could live stream a couple of classes every day we could have you doing something virtual and have a hybrid program i i would marcus. love it that... is that marcus gary i just saw marcus pop up marcus where'd you go hey hey <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm zooming and driving. <laughs> not safe, on, not safe, not recommended. Drive. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hands free. I'm hands free. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, it's great to hear you, Marcus. And, and thanks for all the great work you're doing in this program as well. Hey, you guys too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is great. Good to hey, hear, see you, Bridget. Yeah. Hi. It's Bridget. So I just want to let you know that one of the people in the Facebook group today told me that her 12 year old daughter said that she does the heaven and earth thing when she gets angry. Oh, no, re no response. Maybe we, we, we might we be having some technical difficulties. You might be driving through a desert. Yeah, yeah, drove through a tunnel. Yeah, through a tunnel. I'm going through a space. <laughs> No problem. We'll see I'm if sorry, anyone else. I... Chef Agent having dinner. <laughs> yeah, she's eating her dessert, her uh, ice cream, her jackfruit and ice cream on sweet potato with 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 with, with uh, macerated berries. This is amazing. I just I want people get... to know that I really eat. <clears throat> I could use some of that right now. I didn't have dinner yet. <laughs> I know. Me neither. I've been. We've been going all day. This. I think. I think this virtual cruise is more exhausting than the real one. <laughs> it's funny. I, I change outfits like four times a day, even just at home here in my basement. I mean, here I'm in a t-shirt after I was in the collared shirt and Karen's like, you should log on. I'm like, well, I don't know. You know, I see Gabriel's there and you know, I, I'm on the camera so much anyway. She's like, hop on there. And then sure enough, here comes the rest of the crew, the, the people that I cruise with uh, on a regular basis. I know, and, it's awesome. And Our Bridget sent out the email like at, at, at 9 15 to like 25 or 30 of the speakers. So I yeah, it was like, else would join us. Yeah, just a few minute notice, but uh, but well, a bunch of us are here. We're like on standby. We were already tuned in anyway. You know, we were watching this, um, watching Chef AJ, and uh, you know, on her one hundred and fifty third consecutive day uh, going live <laughs> on, on YouTube. <laughs> You know, you know what we got to really talk about, not that the cruise needs any help getting more people, is every day on my live show, we have a guest, and often it's a it's an attractive male, and people always want to know if they're single, like today with Dr. Doug Lyle, and we go, yes, and people are always, you know, sending me their photos to hook them up with guests, and, I, and I, we've had a few connections. 
people need to know about the matchmaking opportunities on the cruise because they're both you and Justin found your wives on the love boat. Yeah, and we were, we're not the only ones. And there's actually, there's socials, like there's singles, um, you know, singles, uh, what do you call it? Single mingle or, or um, single gatherings and for meal times and for social activities where singles can get together. And, you know, we're not, we're not the only ones. Many other people have met yeah. um, their, you know, future husband or wife on that cruise. Uh, some people have gotten married on the cruise, like during the cruise. Some people have had uh, come on the cruise for their honeymoon. Uh, it's just been a magical uh, time. And um, and Bridget, yeah, I see you on there. I see you. Yeah, not that this year we had that this year. There was a couple who was on their honeymoon. Yeah, it happens all the time. And and Bridget, I just want to thank you for the wonderful work you're doing, not only for 11 years on the cruise, but what you're doing here in the Facebook community. That's like that's like the super, you know, heartfelt. Uh, I know getting to support one another and know one another. And I've been telling other people, I've been texting Justin and telling my wife, Karen, and telling a few other friends about the great work you're doing. But I want to uh, say that for everyone who's tuning in for them to hear that and to acknowledge the wonderful work you're doing. And I thank you. Well, right back at you. Thank you, Robert, too. Your energy is always infectious and it's amazing. And and it really the people make it amazing. They're, they are they made me cry today. I cried. I did the ugly cry on Facebook Live today because it was so beautiful. I did too. I did too. Were you um, crying too? <laughs> no, I think, well, we just got off the cruise a few months ago. Remember, we were at a table, of four of us, where we all cried because we talked about uh, really important goals and dreams and things that are holding us back and how we hold ourselves back and ways that we can support one another and nurture one another and grow. And, and now look at us. We've got, yeah. you know, 54,000 people in registered for this program and we're reaching so many people with just tens of thousands of downloads of the recordings videos per day and so many people tuning in live and 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 this just the dynamic that justin and sandy and the team put together where we have you doing things in the morning and building the community and chef aj doing live events throughout the day and great guests like plant-based gabriel who just wowed people with his presentation today and then uh, I think Chef AJ was talking about really uh, handsome, attractive men. I think she was talking about me. I'm not sure. Um, as one, <laughs> just kidding. As one of the hosts, um, you know. But uh, no, in all seriousness, it's been a really great uh, team. I mean, Justin is there morning till night. I think he has a 13-hour day today just on this project alone. And so uh, this this organizational team and the guests like Plant Based Gabriel, who are here to share um, his knowledge and experiences and inspiration. Has been has been wonderful. So, what? Chef AJ, I, yeah, I just want to say to you, people cannot sing your praises enough. And when I'm doing the Facebook group, they like when I ask them, you know, their top takeaway from the day, they were talking about your Ten Commandments today. Oh, nice! Thank you. I appreciate that. They were. They just love you. And, uh, and I just want you to know, like they're taking what you're teaching and they're, they're absorbing it and putting it into action. That is amazing. Thank you. Yeah. you guys, you know, I, I was thinking about something, you know, on the cruise, you don't just meet amazing people that are in the plant-based world. I've made friends that weren't, I, I don't know if you guys did that as well, but I mean, I, I'm still in touch. Robert, do you remember when I met the Olympic Gold, I don't know if he was a gold yes. medal winner. He, I don't know if he was gold or bronze, but Nelson Evora, the triple yes. jumper from Portugal. Yes. Yes. I mean, I'm still in touch with him. Uh, remember, remember the football player, Trent? I, I, I'm still in touch with him. And these are people that like, they weren't really the people, uh, I mean, they were on the cruise, but not our part. And I just, anytime there's an athlete, I'm like, yeah, you gotta come to this lecture, you know, cause I can't make that, them vegan, but you can, because all the athletes, they all sit together at like one table. It's like high school again, you know, all the, all the jocks. But I always introduce them to Robert and the group. And it's like, yeah, look, you can, you can do this on a plant-based diet, you know? Yeah. And I just want to share a really quick story, too, because you brought that up, Chef AJ. A few years ago, some people know this, and I think, Gabriel, you might appreciate this, too, uh, as be someone who's kind of new to this holistic holiday at home family. Uh, Karen and I had a stateroom attendant, someone who, who cleans our room every day, and uh, a few years ago. And we absolutely fell in love with the guy. We just, we just became instant friends. And it just so happened that the, it was the end of his 10-month contract, the day that we got off the ship. 
So we were we went to the airport to our terminal to fly home, and he was there in regular street clothes, and and he you know he wasn't you know essentially working for us. We could just actually talk, and he could let his guard down and be friends, and and we had a great conversation. We became Facebook friends, and we kept in touch. And then uh, a couple years later, we actually flew out to Bali, Indonesia, and met up with them and his family, met his wife and his two little kids. And we went to their village and we ate plant-based food. We sat on the ground and we ate it. He took us around um, the island and showed us lots of different sites. And it was just, it was just so cool because this was a guy who was uh, you know, cleaning about a dozen different rooms and we were just one of a, a dozen couples, but we just hit it off and we remained friends. Then we flew a- across the world to spend time with him and his family. And then guess what? This last cruise a few months ago, he was back on, on the, that same ship and we got to spend quality time together. We got to go off the ship together and hang out in the, in the various ports. And it was just such a, a memorable experience of, of building relationships and uh, and Bridget, you know that from some of the staff, like yep. like uh, like Christian uh, that you've become friends with, yep. and we see year after year after year, and it's just like you said, Chef AJ. It's more than just our group of two thousand people. It's the staff that we see, people yep. who live on cruise ships for years, and you know for eight to ten months at a time. We see them year after year. Um, yep. Even sometimes people who work in the in the restaurants in the the various islands we visit. We visit San Juan every other year or so, and you see some of those people and yep. get to visit with them again. So, uh, so many different uh, special memories that are made out there. Yeah, I wanted to add that my brother and his wife actually had the exact same experience with, I think it was actually one of the the, wait, the waiter managers early on. Um, they became friends, actually we were friends with him too, but they, my brother and his wife actually in 2008, they went to the Philippines for a couple of months, uh, actually all over Southeast Asia. This is where uh, his, my, wife, my brother's wife's family is, is originally from. And uh, they, they, they went and visited him, hung out with him, and they even stayed with him for a night or two in, his, in, in the city that he lives in. And, and then we saw him again on the cruise like later on, you know, uh, years later, like you mentioned. And going back to AJ's comment, I believe that, um, this, that uh, there's at least two siblings who both met their partners or husbands uh, on the cruise i know that uh, melissa carpell yeah met um met her husband after her sister met her husband on the second or third cruise and the carpells would come for those of you who don't know melissa carpell used to be the national uh, like pr spokesperson for PETA, and she was one of a speaker for four or five six seven years in a row on the cruise and she met her husband on board uh, a couple years after her, her sister met her husband I have a question, Justin. Yeah. Um, so Saturday night we're doing we're doing music. We're gonna do a dance party. We're gonna attempt to do what like a dance party like we would do on the cruise ship. And some of the participants have requested that the staff, they're calling all of us the staff show up somehow because we're zooming it. Yeah. Uh, they we can do the same thing we're doing right now. I mean, we can we can probably, well, there's a couple of different ways we could do it. I, I can give everyone the panelist link. We can have up to 100 panelists in a webinar um, and have them join and then use, we can even, like I, right now, I know AJ is actually technically controlling this meeting. It's her meeting room. But we can go between, back and if I'm controlling and I can go back and forth between the uh, the speaker view and the, the, the um, gallery view where you can see everyone at once and we can dance and stuff. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, my, my office has been doing. My, what? They all want to see each other and they want to yeah. see the staff. Yeah, I, I can do that. Um, I don't think we can do it so that like all the attendees, all the guests can, can be on, but we can have, we can maybe, you know, we can bring some people up, you know, basically the way it works is like, I can have people join as a panelist and I can bring, put them back down to re- regular attendee as well. Okay, sweet. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is anybody, is anybody watching? Or is it just us guys talking? No, yeah. there's a couple hundred people. Oh There's no! Do they have any questions? Okay, that was because for a while it seemed like okay. That's, I, I can't see because I I would have to be in my. I'm house. seeing like 220 on on uh, on YouTube and like 100 and something on Facebook. Um, that's pretty good for not announced. Well, we did promote this to the Holistic Holiday group. Um, yeah, there's, there's well, 85. It, it, it's dropped off some. There was over 130 and over 250 a little while ago. Okay. So it's coming down a little bit. We lost plant-based Gabriel. Maybe he. Uh... 
he either got bored or he had to uh, <laughs> had to go have dinner or, or little Bridget had to go to sleep. Um, we lost Marcus he was driving through a tunnel. Um, but it's been uh, it's been great to chat with this this core group, and I think it's yeah. it's also good for I think people to hear some of the stories of uh, you know most of us met each other through the cruise. I met Chef AJ a little bit you know you know before that or outside of the cruise. But we met at Marshall, Texas. What? Um, but for the most part, uh, the rest of you, I you know I met through the cruise, mm -hmm. and so it's just a, a really a really cool thing to have this extended holistic holiday at sea or at home cruise family. It is awesome. Hey, I have actually a question for Chef AJ. Yeah, baby, so I go made, ahead. I made um, a banana pudding that has arrowroot in it and it didn't thicken up. Can I freeze it and make it ice cream? Oh gosh, I, if it tastes okay, you might, but you know what's better for thickening is chia seeds. Okay, well, I already made this, so it's in the fridge. You already it made it. So up, it so. I mean, I can't, I can't answer 100%. You would have to try it, but it, if you freeze a pudding, I don't know what would happen if you freeze a pudding. Well, I, I guess, guess I'm going to try and see what happens. Yeah, you may as well. Hey, First piece, you know, I'm going to throw it out anyway, so. Right. The other thing I do when I don't know what to do with something is I throw it in the air fryer or the dehydrator and see what happens. Okay. You never know. Yeah. Cool. You never know. But you can really make an easy uh, banana pudding just with some plant milk, some bananas, some vanilla, some chia seeds, and boom, you don't have to cook it or anything. Cool. All right. Thanks. Yeah. It tastes absolutely. really good. It just didn't. It just it. didn't thicken. Yeah. Well, maybe it's a maybe it's a sauce then. <laughs> it's a banana sauce. The banana sauce. Okay. That's funny. People like, are chocolate in it. Make it a chocolate like cacao or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Chocolate banana. Yeah. See, these stories are helpful. People are chiming in. I want to go on the cruise now. LOL. It sounds so fun. And it is, it's the best event of the year. Yeah. And, you know, we're bummed we can't be out there, but uh, this is this is really uh, the next best thing. And this is kind of what we'll be doing for a little while, this uh, digital world that we're living in. And it's, uh, it's a pretty cool thing that we can do this. Yeah, it's a good feeling. I didn't expect it to feel so good, you yeah. know? So it's and, nice. And by the way, if you're not registered, guys, it's not too late. We still, how many more days is it, Justin? Well, there's three more days, um, and Friday is the big day. Friday, we have, uh, let me think, we have Tracy McCorder, McCorder. we have uh, Dr. Michael Clapper, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn, Dr. Neil Barnard, and Dr. T. Colin Campbell. Woo! Five hours of live Q&A. And, and, doc, and Dr. David Blyweiss. Oh, Dr. David Blyweiss. Six hours of, of, of basically from like, I think, 11 a.m. until 5 p.m. continuously, we yeah. have back-to-back -back live Q&As. You have to be upgraded to the VIP level. We do have a, a, a coupon code available for that. It's called, it's the same one we use, but we've been using the same code all along. We just keep changing the, the parameters of it. It's this special offer with no space. It's a $50 discount, it expires tonight. But uh, yeah, it's not too late to join the event. And if you join the event, you actually get a year's access to all 70 hours of material. Lectures from Gabriel, lectures from, uh, from you, AJ, the one you did today. Uh, Three class, four classes from Marcus, who's on the call of Qigong classes, uh, four of those four live cooking demonstrations that you've been doing, but a lot of other stuff. I mean, Robert's been recording most of it, so he could speak to a little bit what you get when you, when you sign up. But just to be clear, they can still sign up at the free level and still watch a few things, right? Right. The free level, I think we're going to extend pre-access most likely through Sunday. It's right now it's scheduled to end on Saturday night. We're probably going to throw an extra day on there on Sunday. And then, yeah, there's about 30 hours of free content and it's really like it's basically um, mostly lectures and interviews with plant-based like legends and and then new and newcomers as well oh can i throw can i throw on the table that um for anybody who is part of the event now and may join tomorrow night's the talent showcase we need talent so if you have a talent yeah. Sign up. Yeah. We have, I think we have enough to do a, a talent showcase, but we can use a few more. Yeah. Jennifer yes. says, I'm going to sign up now. And I think that means for the uh, holistic holiday, not for talent, but because uh, I think she said that before you mentioned that, Bridget. But we have another person sign up 54,102. Yay. <laughs> more people than the town I grew up in. Uh, it, people saying, it's been great, full of info. How do I sign up? 
uh, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, Chef AJ, you must have a link somewhere here. Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I'm back in the office because I couldn't. I can't uh, post from there. So let me get you guys that link to sign up. It's just get you guys keep talking while I get it up on my screen. Okay. Yeah, and I want to thank everyone for tuning in. And I know we've done this throughout. Um, uh, uh, Bridget's really good about this, and I see this in Chef AJ's comments as well. But feel free, please feel free to, to chime in the comments and let us know where you're watching from. It's really cool to see, like I see people popping in from Austin, Texas, where I used to live or Southern California, where I, I, I lived before or just, you know, exotic places that it's just really interesting. Or, or you find out, hey, there's someone in my town. I didn't, I didn't know that. And uh, it's just really fascinating to find out uh, where people are in this community and, and why you came to this event. Um, so if you can share some of those things with us, that's really helpful for us how you found out about it, why you're here, what you love about it, what you'd like to hear more of, uh, what you're getting out of this experience. Um, if you've made any uh, new, I guess, resolutions of sorts or changed new habits or felt inspired by something, uh, feel free to share that. Feel free to share on Facebook, YouTube, Zoom, whatever platform you're on, um, your, your city or, or what you're most interested in. And we actually really enjoy uh, yeah. reading those comments and learning from this community and uh, you know, historically, as Justin probably mentioned, we, we've sailed in the Caribbean, sailing out of Florida, and who knows what the future holds when the cruise comes back, and right. um, maybe we get to try out a different part of the world, and uh, maybe it'll be somewhere close to where you are. Uh, so uh, so anyway, please share. Um, oh, cool. Uh, from Puerto Rico, we stop there all the time. That's awesome. And well, uh, that, was our, that was our port today, virtually, yeah. was Puerto Rico, San Juan. Yeah, yeah, that's so. Uh, that's um, where uh, where someone is from, um, Kansas City and St. Louis, and um, oh, yeah, St. Louis. That's where you are. No, St. Louis. Yeah, that was that was uh, um, Jean. Um, so yeah, so so thank you all for sharing that. That's that's great. Hey, yay, Marcus. Marcus. <laughs> he, he pulled over. We can't, can't hear you. you. Can't hear you. Uh, I parked. I want to I want to give a, a shout out if anyone is hasn't yet heard of Genesis Butler. Oh my goodness. She is amazing. I want her to be president age now so she could run for president. I'm telling you. And anyone who has youth, I wanted to do I tell you I wanted to put my 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 little ones right in front of her videos to, and to watch because she was so so inspiring and and I thought that that was such revolutionary talk to you know if you get the children to change their diet and that it's the parents to change their diet because I've heard so many times that I could never get my children to change you know their diet but it makes so much sense to have a drive so you need to watch check her out she's got video content on this fantastic yeah she, she was one that i really pushed for uh the first time we've had someone under 18 speak at the events and uh you know i had to i had to push for her to get get a, approved fantastic. but and i was the one who interviewed her personally to make sure really push more. More happen. we had to reschedule uh, it a couple time times someone... someone... push for her to get get approved but and I was the one who interviewed her personally. We have some, we have some looping. Someone, someone's got an echo. Someone's got another device on. That was me. It was me. All my other devices are turned off. Or it muted, was me I mean. that fixed it. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I actually texted Marcus to check that video out about like yesterday, right? Absolutely fantastic. Everything's been great. I, I love the, um, actually, the one that you did, Robert, with... Uh, with Tori, uh, oh, yeah, that good. was really good too. I learned a whole lot about Ital. I did not did not know about that uh, that history, and that was great. That was inspiring as well. I want yeah, to have I my son watch that. <laughs> good, good. I found that fascinating too because I've heard of that and I've heard Tori talk about that. I've known Tori for a long time, but I didn't know the real history of that, and so that was really interesting. And I'm I'm so glad he was able to share that and also share some of his story too about overcoming obstacles and things he had to experience in, in order to become the person he became today. This, this champion athlete on the world stage with a massive online following and strong influence 
and someone who just exudes positivity and, and confidence and compassion. And that came from his experiences and his upbringing, um, much like we, much like many others uh, have shared. You know, Chef AJ shared her story of her struggles with um, food addiction and things like that. And, 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 and Bridget shares in the Facebook group some of her struggles. And I shared some of my struggles. And, and uh, we, we all have some sort of story. And some of those stories don't get told as often. So having um, Tori out there speaking and Genesis Butler out there speaking and, and plant-based Gabriel and some people who are you know, newer to this holistic holiday at home environment is, uh, is, is just great to have them and have their stories to share. Yeah. Right on. Yep. <clears throat> Everybody's got something special sitting within them. Just needs to come on out. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. We've got people chiming in from all over the place. People saying, I just signed up. Thank you, Chef AJ, for the link. Coming in from Portland, Oregon, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Orinda, California, Youngstown, Ohio, Apex, North Carolina, Virginia, and a whole bunch of other places. Um, so, uh, so Susanville, California, uh, thank you all for sharing that. So great to have you here. Thank you for um, doing that, Robert, because I'm trying to find the the comments on here without having an echo, <laughs> and I can't get them. So I'm you just got to mute the video on YouTube or Facebook. Um, yeah, so put like the volume I, I, all the way down on YouTube or Facebook. Yeah, so I kept the volume on my laptop, and then I'm here on my phone. Um, that's and, that's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, but I just mute the whole thing. I just mute my phone. All, the volume yeah. all the way down. I actually have my phone and I have YouTube on a different tab behind my Zoom. So I'm like doing both. I'm mostly commenting on the YouTube chat, actually. iPad, phone, and, and my wife's laptop. Uh, <laughs> I have four devices here. All right. Well, what do you guys say we call it a night? Because I'm hungry. <laughs> even, though I ate a, even though I just ate a Sunday, I got to eat something savory now. Yeah, I got two more hours worth of work to do, so <laughs> at least. And I've got to get a bunch of questions ready for some upcoming uh, Q&A interviews and prepare for my fitness class in the morning. So I hope people will tune in for that. Functional fitness at 11 a.m. Eastern and morning my time in the, in the Rocky Mountains. I'll see everybody at 9 a.m. Eastern and 8 Central and 6 o'clock Pacific on the Facebook page. And Marcus, when are you up next? We have a video on Friday, and there is there's a video Friday, and then there is a live class on Saturday. I think it's Saturday is at nine o'clock my time. I'm on, I'm in California, so um, okay. probably twelve o'clock Saturday. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Marcus. Twelve o'clock. And Jeff is on every single day. I live, I live here. I, I live on YouTube. I never leave. So I'm always here. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Chef AJ, for sharing your platform you. with us today. I know this was your, uh, thank your you, dessert Jeff. party that we all bombed. It's <laughs> all right. It was great seeing everybody. And thanks Absolutely. all you guys for watching live. And if you haven't signed up for Holistic Holiday at Home, I posted a link. There's a free version. You definitely want to check it out. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Hey, good night. Thank you.